Heavenly Father, we come to you as a, a, a people who are called by your name. Followers of Jesus Christ, Christians, Christians. We are followers of Christ and we ask that you forgive us for our sins. We, uh, first of all, as a nation, on behalf of our nation, we ask that you forgive us for our sins. We realize that we have done things and said things and thought things that we shouldn't have. We have not done things. We have not thought things and we have not said things that we should have. Heavenly Father, we are a sinful nation and there are beautiful, wonderful things about our nation. But we also know that we are human and we are sinners. And it seems as though sin just continues to increase and abound in our nation. We ask, Father, that you would forgive us and forgive us as Christians for participating in that. Forgive us for our own lives and how we in our own lives compromise and seem to be comfortable with sin. We ask, Father, that this time when things slow down and we're forced to remain at home, that you would cause us to reflect and to focus on you. That this would be a time of spiritual growth. We ask, Father, that you would bring a revival to our nation. Lord, I've seen revival in Ghana and other places where you show up in a village and 100 people accept Christ. And a church is planted within the period of an hour. And it grows and flourishes. I pray, Lord, we pray that you bring revival to our nation. You are the only one who can save our nation. We have been shut down by a, 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 a virus that we can't even see. Something so small, so insignificant, and yet so powerful. The entire country, the entire world, has been shaken by something we can't even see. And so, Lord, we realize how fragile and how, how uh, tenuous our world is. And so we put our faith, Lord, in, in you. Father, we ask in your mercy that you would heal our land, that you would protect people from dying, particularly the elderly who we honor and whom we love, and whom we value, because they, like everybody else, are made in the image of God. From, the, from conception until the grave, we are all made in the image of God. We, no matter our abilities, no matter our interaction with the world, we are all made in the image of God, and that is where our value comes from. And so, Father, we pray for healing and restoration and wholeness. And we ask, Lord, that you would stop this virus spread, that you would stop it in the name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ, that powerful blood that was shed on the cross for the remission of our sins, that cross where eternity was purchased, eternal life for us, where Christ carried all the, the sins of humanity upon himself, an incredible act of love and selflessness. There on that cross, victory over sin and death was won. And Christ rose again on the third day, defeating Satan, defeating death. And we pray, Father, that the power of Christ, that your power would stop this virus, not just in our nation, but around the world, that you would give our leaders, you would give our businesses, you would give our churches, you would give our schools and our governments, you would give them wisdom to help stop this. And we pray that if there's anybody watching this who's infected right now, that you heal them and restore them. Father, may this be a time when our nation looks to you not just to our government, 
not just to the fantastic businesses that are helping with drugs and, and testing kits and procedures, but that everybody would turn towards you. Father, we pray for our families who are being forced to spend more time together. And I know we, we still have the streaming services. We still have our phones. We still have our electricity and our water. But I pray, Father, that our families will turn towards each other and have conversations and draw closer together and heal and seek you. We pray, Father, that people in this nation will seek your face, your loving, kind, wonderful face. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. In just a moment, I'm going to start uh, another uh, video session, and uh, I'm going to uh, share a message um, that the Lord laid on my heart um, a couple months ago, actually, about telling the truth. And I think it's really a, a very relevant message uh, for, um, for today uh, when we're not sure what the truth is about this virus. So um, if, you will, uh, if you will join me again in just a moment in the third video for Sunday, March 15th, uh, I think you'll be blessed. God bless you.